One of the most important steps to becoming a director is to start writing and directing short films at a young age. Kyle Newman graduated from New York University School of Film and Television. Mr. Newman has directed several commercials, music videos, and short films, as well as the feature-length movies The Hollow and Fanboys. Hi, I'm director Kyle Newman, and you're watching Made in Hollywood, and here's a scene from Barely Lethal. I never knew my parents. The only thing I ever knew was Prescott, a special school for orphans. Back of the line, Grandma. Move! That had some unique ideas about education. Did you always know that you wanted to be a director? I always loved film. Star Wars was my favorite thing, so I learned how Star to Wars. draw through Star Wars. I, I was a big comic book fan, so I learned, again, further how to draw and how to set things up dynamically in panels. You know, so I'd learn how to storyboard through comic books and watching a lot of movies. I started out making stop motion films before I even did traditional live action stuff. But about 14, I realized I wanted to be a director, not just sit in a room and paint, because I liked interacting with people and collaborating, and it brought in theater, and it brings in fashion, and it brings in photography, and you get drama in it. So once I realized that I could do that as a career, I just set my sights on it and did everything I could to to get here, wherever here is. <laughs> you missing someone? 83. Come in if you hear me. Give us a sign you're down there. This was my way out. Did you have formal education and training to assist you on I went job? to NYU film school. Okay. So I did have that formal training. But you could be a student of it without going to a traditional school. Mm -hmm. So I think as long as you're committed to it and you study it, you're going to be well off. But you really have to commit to studying it. And some of the best classes at film school were the film history classes, more than production. And that's stuff you can do at home. That's stuff you can just get a list of films and watch and read what other people think about them or watch them with friends and have conversations about them. Megan, couldn't help noticing you're into Cash, huh? Hey. Cash loves school spirit. Mascots. All my high school research suggests that they're awkward loners. Are there any qualities that you actually specifically look for when you are hiring your creative team? I look for people who are smarter than me. <laughs> I look for people who are open-minded. And I look for people who want to collaborate. Who are you? I just wanted to hold the mascot rant. It's tradition. Vagina! What's going on? 85,000 views. I'm viral? Because it's not healthy for me to go in and say it has to be like this. I can set rules and parameters for it, but ultimately you want someone that's going to be the master of their respective craft that's going to come in and elevate what even you can envision and surprise you with new things. So I was looking for people with that collaborative spirit, that open mind, and people looking to do something different rather than the same thing they just did. Agent 83. How did you find me? YouTube. What advice do you have for any young aspiring directors then? My advice for young aspiring directors would be to watch a lot of films. When you reach creative blocks, watch even more films, study some art. I was a minor in an art history and classics. So I would read a lot, watch a lot of films, and then just surround yourself with people that are making films or people that inspire you. That's, I think, is the key. So even if you're not doing your desired job on a set, just be on a set, get any job on a set. And I think that type of energy pushes you forward. Why is she crying? Maybe she watched The Notebook one too many times. Adolescence is a very volatile time for a young woman. He so gets me. Made in Hollywood.